Hello, and welcome to episode two of Assembly On Demand. I'm your host, Evelyn Hornbeck. Each day, we're gonna bring you the highlights from the first ever joint assembly of the Lutheran and Anglican Churches of Canada. So let's get started. We're gonna check in with the delegates. Oh, I've loved it. I've got a whole lot of ideas about things to go back to. We have a number of ELCIC churches in Thunder Bay and two other pastors who are here. So I can't wait to get together with them and say, okay, what are we going to do? We've done a few things. We've done a few things. We can do a lot more. I thought a strong sermon from the National Bishop. Uh, I, th I really appreciated what she had to say. And I really loved what I was hearing about uh, spirited discipleship and the renewal of discipleship. I think that's exactly where we need to be headed as a, as a church, as churches. Very enlightening. I wasn't sure, this is my first one, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's been very nice. The people here are wonderful, it's informative, and I'm really enjoying myself. Well, I think it's great to be meeting together with the Lutherans, and I look forward to sharing everything with the Lutherans as we go through our joint assembly together. I think it's going to be really interesting and a real growing experience for all of us to, to step outside our traditional boxes and, and um, find out how much we really have in common. The city of Ottawa is found on traditional Algonquin territory. So as the assembly got underway, Elder Annie Smith St. George brought the gathering a special prayer and a welcome. We are always happy, and I am here to greet you on the territory, the land of my ancestors, always again, Minnawatch. And as we open, I will pray in Algonquin, and I will move on. Miigwech chikjamanido, onje kakunaki giatom, onje ninuwet, onje mi jem nigi chikjam wisinamen, miigwech chikjamanido onje Miigwech on jenny bi, miigwech on jeka kina kigi aton on jenny niwet. Kin gujeta kigi kendan mega kakina on jeka kigi ishton kakina on jenny niwet. Miigwech on jenny gano wa gosun jima gaya, kin mido kum gaya, kin gigi kena maka ni nigi kena masi mega kakina wia gosun jima, kin gujeta mega. I thank the Creator for this day we have today. And the food that we ate, I thank the Creator for the foods that we have. And I thank the Creator for the, everything he has provided us. We lack nothing on Mother Earth. I thank the Creator for all of us, our different walks of life that we have been given to us. Each have our own teachings, each to, ch to share among each other. So, ça me fait plaisir, puis je vous souhaite une bonne réunion. Pour toi, Jo, un joie de retour pour la clôture. I will be coming back for the closure on Sunday. Miigwech, have nice days here in the Algonquin Territory, the national capital area. Miigwech. We were also fortunate to welcome the Reverend Dr. Christopher DeRacing of the Episcopal School of Divinity. In his moving keynote, he challenged us to move outside the church and engage with the world. It is not a church which consider its possession of power and strength, but rather its expenditure, its dispersal, departure into the world. Very often I tell myself, sometimes it may sound heretical, and yet I am the older I get, I begin to believe more and more strongly in it. Maybe we should remind ourselves every time we gather, the singular reason that of our gathering is to be driven out as quickly as possible. Every time you gather for a Sunday service, you remember you are there in order to be driven out by the love of the world, into the world. To be dismissed. Isn't that the reason that we used to call this beautiful name for the Eucharistic service, the Mass? The Mass? The sending? We were dismissed? So it is not, a, none of us should hear in our churches at the end of a Eucharist, God bless you real good, but rather get on with it, men and women. 
the homeless is not a new cause for Christians, but the face of homelessness today might not be one we all recognize. In one presentation, delegates learned about what homelessness looks like in Canada and what they can do to help. Tonight's presentation was about how we together with the Lutheran Church are going to go into action to address the needs of the homeless. We hope to put a face to homelessness and to give a voice to the homeless and the precariously housed. The methodology for the presentation was uh, pretty straightforward. We wanted to take interviews that we had done with um, real people who had the lived experience of homelessness from a variety of, of generations, so people who are young, people who are with families, parents, people who are older, um, and, and let their voices be heard, not in a way of acting, but just to, to, to read their stories. Denial and anger gave way to depression. In desperation, we left him on the doorstep of a governmental agency. So the whole point was to share six stories that give very different perspectives on homelessness and then to give some time to put that in a biblical context, in a scriptural context, but also in the context of the reality of Canada and how we live with this side by side, day by day. Embracing mission, embracing the fact that, that we are called to be more than uh, a Sunday religion club, that if we are to be true to the gospel of Jesus Christ, then we must step out beyond our walls and start dealing in, in the muck at times that is resolving these social issues. But the muck is people's lives. We have to look at how we connect the dots. How do the governments work with each other so that there aren't any gaps and that we have a more holistic approach. But in the meanwhile, we're not going to sit and wait. We're also going to act and we're building our own network of faith-based organizations, not just Anglicans and Lutherans, but across the country inviting others to join us. So together, for the love of the world, we're putting together an action plan and saying we've got to learn We've got to think things through, we've got to act, and we've got to pray. With such a large group and two churches coming together for the first time, breaking the ice is especially important. In orientation, delegates connected as they learned that crafts aren't just for Sunday school. On your table is a bag of items. They symbolize elements of our time together here at Assembly as Anglicans and Lutherans. So uh, PJ Hobbs asked Lisa Berry and me to come up with these uh, warm-up bags, they're called, for the orientation sessions so that the delegates could get to know each other better. So uh, we came up with uh, six different crafts that they could do. So um, we also made so that they'd have to share. So we didn't put enough supplies in some of the bags just so that they'd have to ask each other for a bit of glue or for the scissors. And, um, and actually they had to share all the markers too. Michael Thompson helped us. Uh, put a biblical basis to it. So each of the six uh, uh, crafts had uh, a nice biblical uh, a scripture verse with them and they really suited about community building and just they were just lovely. And then another component of it was for people to be able to write a message. So they could write whatever they wanted to write. It could have to do with the theme or it could be um, uh, prayer to God and some of the messages are visible like we can see them on the hands back there and on the tree of life but some of them are woven into the weaving sculpture so it's only God sees it so it's really like a sweet thing but they've done it together. We were nervous because when you do something like that you don't know if people want to do it first of all and we saw Twitter feeds people saying yay craft time at, at Joint Assembly. We heard uh, good comments from people and they seemed really happy to do it and they weren't at it very long because they weren't complicated crafts so and um, I, I love the sculpture I didn't know it looked this nice and so bright and cheerful it really sets the tone for what's going on here thanks for joining us for assembly on demand tune in tomorrow and don't forget to check out the live stream at jointassembly.ca